Hi everyone, welcome back to Zen and Vixen. It's Kathy, and today I'm back in my bathroom. Um, my husband decided to stay home from work today. He's working from home, and he did not check with me first to make sure it was okay, but he's sitting in my normal filming spot on his laptop. So I figured I would come to the bathroom and shut the door because when he's around, um, he can't I be distracted. I turned 45 last week. And, you know, I'm not really embracing the fact that I'm getting older, but we don't really have a choice, <laughs> do we? <laughs> we should just be thankful that we are getting older. But, um, and I always talk about not trying to keep up with the Joneses as far as, um, you know, material possessions and whatnot because I really think that you should just be yourself and just love who you are and do your thing. But my one area, maybe my weakness in that is anti-aging. I, I go back and forth with it. I go back and forth with whether I should just embrace my age and just go with it or there's so much new technology out there, why not try to slow down the aging process um, a little bit as far as wrinkles and sagging, et cetera, et cetera. I've always been someone who's loved makeup and girly things, and you know, I finally just gave in and just decided to, to go back to go back to the Botox and, and maybe add a few more things in there. So I am, um, but I'm there. So I think right now, as far as um, keeping up, that's probably the one area that I am going to probably um, do. <laughs> so last week I talked about how I was, for, for my 45th birthday, I was giving myself the gift of Ulthera. I had never heard of that. I didn't know what the procedure was. I went in for a Botox touch-up um, about a month ago, and I was sa I was talking to my nurse at, about my sagging eyelids. I just said I need a little more here because I just felt like I felt like my eyelids were just drooping, like especially my right eyelid. And it's something I know you probably can't see it. I see it, and. Um, you know, it, I look at it every day and that really bothers me. So if there's something I can do to kind of help that to where it's not going to bother me every time I look in the mirror, I'm going to try it. So I thought, you know, if we just inject a little more Botox here, it'll kind of like lift it up. Well, my nurse suggested Ulthera. And so I asked her what it was. I at first thought it was just some sort of an injectable hyaluronic acid like everything else and she said no it's a treatment where they use ultrasounds they shoot them under your skin and what it does is it helps your skin to produce new collagen I don't know if it breaks it down and then your body then reproduces it I'm not really sure but you go in and you have it they go over your face wherever you want it, and then as the collagen rebuilds, it lifts and gives you a more youthful appearance. Now, I've seen a lot of before and after pictures, and I have seen um, where they've done the jowl area, which I'm, I'm not quite there yet, but maybe I will do a jowl treatment within the next couple years, maybe to kind of help prevent it. But um, I wanted to just do my eyes, my eyes, especially my right eye, and then um, this whole area. So I went in and had um, that done. And I will tell you, it hurts. <laughs> but they say beauty hurts. <laughs> and, and honestly, I feel like it was worth it. But I will tell you, it's like she was running this little machine I mean, from here to here, zapping, basically zapping. And the zaps last, I don't even know if it's a second, two seconds, but it starts out kind of calm. And then as the zap ends, it starts burning. And she told me the reason why is because it's heating up the skin, the skin underneath your top layer of skin. And as it gets hotter, it um, hurts. 
And then if you go over it a couple times just to make sure that you've got that collagen, um, I guess, broken down, so down so it can start healing again, um, it hurts even more the second time. So I went in, I had a topical um, anesthetic, I guess, put on to try to help ease the pain and Emotrin 800. And honestly, if I could go in and do it again, I'd probably take an Ambien and go to sleep. However, that machine zaps, <laughs> it would probably wake me up. But, um, but I'm definitely gonna do it again. Um, I will show you what I looked like before and after. And what I looked like a week later, I took a picture of myself this morning. It's Friday. I was trying to get it one week after, but I missed it yesterday. So I took the picture this morning. You can still get an idea. And as you can see, it really, it really lifted that muscle and I just know this was only after after one day it lifted that muscle you can definitely see a difference in the picture now I will tell you with the picture with my before I took that picture with my iPhone and I didn't have a flash and then the after picture my nurse took the picture with my iPhone turned around with a flash so it's a clearer picture but you can still see the shape of my eye and how it um, you can see how it kind of droops down and then the second picture you can totally see how it kind of moves up with the eyebrow and and that's just going to improve it, it takes about three to six months to see the full effect and you may need a second treatment I'm thinking I'm not going to need one, but if I do, I will go back, but I'm going to wait about three to six months just to kind of see where, where I'm going with it. And, um, I, I'm very, very happy with it. So if you're thinking about getting the Ulthera, also known as All Therapy, but for some reason, everyone always calls it Ulthera. I don't know if that's the brand or if it's just, um, the nickname that's easier for people to say. Um, anyway, Ulthera, All Therapy. Definitely go for it if you can handle the pain and I will tell you it's pain. It's painful. I Joke around and say I gave birth to two children This hurt more than giving birth to my two children, but then again, I did have two c-sections and epidurals, but even so <laughs> It hurt so um, Just a warning, but it might be better than having to get if you're if you want this anti-sagging type um, procedure, it's probably better than getting a facelift that takes, you know, weeks, months to recover from before you can actually look like you can go into public. So um, definitely do the Ulthera if you are thinking about it. It's definitely worth it. You don't have to do your whole face. You can just do part of it, which is what I did. Um, but definitely, I'm very, very happy with the results. Um, another procedure that I had done was Botox, and I've been doing that. I've been doing that off and on for quite a few years. I'll go back and forth, and I'll I'll think, okay, I, I did it, and then I let it just kind of wear off in about six months, and then I I will see a picture of myself, a close up of my forehead, and I will say my um, aha moment when I decided I needed to go back and get that touched up was when I did my video on eyelash extensions where I was like really just up close and I just couldn't even look at my forehead. It was just so wrinkly and awful to me. And so I made an appointment immediately and got that taken care of and I thought, well, you know, while I'm at it, why not try the Juvederm? I've never done Juvederm or I had never done Juvederm up until that point and I I had gone to a doctor once and she suggested it and I was so afraid that they were going to um, just inject me so much here 
or maybe it was gonna not gonna work that I was gonna look like a pumpkin. I've seen a lot of people that you can just look at them and tell they've had work done and too many injectables. And that um, is not the look that I was going for. But my nurse assured me, no, 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 that's not gonna happen. You're, we're gonna do one syringe. I'm not sure how many units or CCs or whatever, probably not CCs, but whatever volume it, it is, just one syringe and she just injected it here and here and of course and you can see the results immediately you get or a little swollen for a couple days but it goes down and I was really really happy with the results however when I started looking at it again picking my face apart maybe I should just stop looking at my face um I kind of thought I would have liked to have had just a tiny bit more here but Maybe next year when I go back. The good thing about Juvederm is it lasts from 9 to 14 months. And so I won't have to get that touched up for a while. And I'm not going to. I'm just going to save all my money and <laughs> get more Botox touch-ups. However, I think maybe the Ulthera is going to help reduce that too. Because I'm going to be producing so much collagen that it's going to kind of lift. That I probably won't need so much up here and here. Now I still have this weird little scar here that if you read my blog I explained that I got this scar from trying to burn off that lovely wrinkle with a home um, chemical peel or a gly glycolic acid peel and it kind of stayed on a little too long <laughs> maiming me there and um, yeah making it worse so I'm not gonna do that anymore I'm just gonna kind of let that fade away <laughs> keep doing the Botox and hopefully it'll kind of lift it and distract. But um, yeah, so far with all of those treatments that I've done, I'm very, very happy. And yes, now I'm going to keep them up. I'm going to stop um, living in denial, thinking that I'm not aging and I'm gonna pretty much live at my med spa. <laughs> And if they have any other really good treatments, I'm, I'm willing to try them as well. As far as where to get your treatments done, um, I have a girlfriend who lives in Atlanta. Hi, Lisa. Who um, was telling me she wanted to have Ulthera, but she was having a hard time finding someone there who did it. Now, here in Southern California, once again, we have med spas, plastic surgeons, um, dermatologists on every corner who are very competitive and we have everything which is kind of nice which keeps the prices fairly low or lower I should say more competitive and um, more affordable for just the normal person and um, the place that I chose is also one of the more higher ranked places which is really good and I just got really really lucky with that um, I just happened to find my med spa on a whim, which they always say, oh, research or doctor. Well, I didn't. I just found it, called it, made an appointment, went in, and have been just thrilled with the results ever since. And so, and the girls there are wonderful. So that's probably not the best way to research your med spa, but it worked for me. So anyway, I think that's about all that I have to really say about my... Um, Ulthera treatments. This is something that you're interested in doing. I say go for it. But don't do it because you feel pressured by society. Because everyone is beautiful inside and out in our own way. And if you don't feel like you need it just because Mrs. Jones has it, don't do it. I like it. And a lot of your imperfections and flaws that you see, a lot of other people don't see. So depending on how you feel about that, I am, am okay with pretty much everything else in my life, but when it comes to anti-aging, I'm going to fight it right now, tooth and nail, until I get a little older. We'll see how it goes. I mean, look at Cher. She looks fabulous. And she's really old. Anyway, so till next time. I hope that helped with maybe some decisions if you're thinking about it. And um, I will see you again real soon. Thanks for watching.